We have Katie Smith in the Black Valley Tudo trunks and shirts and Rebecca Baldwin in the pink tie trunks over here. Becca brings it, she's, uh, she's not afraid to exchange in the center of the ring. Curious to see what Katie, what game plan Katie has. Becca a little sloppy early on, uh, fighting on the southpaw stance, I believe. Nice kick Good there. body kick. Katie seems a little bit timid. Good work from Katie getting her pressed up against the cage here. At five foot two, Becca really has to get in there to scrap. Rebecca Baldwin seems a little more calm here. Another good body kick. Nice leg kick by Becca. Yeah, Becca's doing a good job going from body to leg with that left kick. She has kick. tree trunk legs, you know, and she's really, uh, the kick has got to be a part of your game when you're five foot six. Nice protection there with the back spinning back fist afterwards. Becca got caught with that counter right hand, counter right jet, counter right hook. She another, got caught there again. Another one as well, yep. Katie Smith having some success with that right hook. She got nice caught by, by Becca. Slowed down Katie. Made her think a little bit. Definitely gotta be careful running in with those punches. These ladies are throwing down though, that's for sure. Looks like Rebecca Baldwin's still trying to fit in that left body kick. She's had a little success with it in the earlier part of the round. Nice left. Becca's getting pretty good timing here on her, on her shots. And when Rebecca and Baldwin kind of, she's been circling like she is just now a few times, that's a perfect time for Smith to throw that low leg kick. Yeah, Smith's being kind of one-dimensional here. Just looking for heavy shots in the feet and the hands. That right low leg kick for Katie Smith is wide open, though. For her to throw that right here, she could. There she. Becca's got to get her hands up a little quicker after she throws her shots. She kind of walked forward with that. A little sloppy. Her, she needs a real mouth guard, too. Right, and, and Rebecca Ball, not too much movement from her on, on the upper body. Oh, a bit of a back and forth for first round. It started off pretty uh, successfully for Baldwin. She had a few um, body kicks that landed pretty heavy. And then Katie seems to wrap up the round a little better. She landed a couple left hands too. I think she probably won that round. Katie was a little bit wild. Um, never really slowed down to the right pace. Never used her height, just kind of walked forward. And let, let Becca kind of time her with shots coming in. Right, Katie did a good job walking her down, but um, as you mentioned, she kind of just came in forward without throwing, leading with punches, and that's what got her caught a time or two. Like I said, Katie two and one, but her one loss. The girl was 133 pounds. Um, definitely was a different situation for a girl like her who probably could make 105. Oh, right, I mean, so how much heavier was her opponent? What's that? Like, how, her opponent was how much heavier than she should have been? Well, she, used, she fights at 115. Uh, she comes. She came into this fight at 113, but uh, her fight she had jumped up in weight to fight at 125, and the and Cat was uh, 133. And that's a big swing for females, yeah. for sure, especially that lighter. She female. still came in and, and fought. Cat has very good jiu-jitsu and was able to armbar her when she got the takedown. And when fighters stand this opposite stance here, it's a great time to throw that that body kick, as we saw with success from uh, my teammate Gerald Mershart in UFC a couple weeks ago. Now when Becca throws punches, she keeps her head straight, right, right in the same spot it is on a swivel. That could end up, there she goes. Katie Good hook and body kicks. kick, yeah. And you saw um, Baldwin take a big breath after she landed that body kick as well.
Katie Smith seems to be uh, finding her groove a little bit more here, here in the Valley 2 of Black Trunks. A little more calm than the last, and she started the first round. Oh, nice right hand by Katie. Katie using that range a little more. That reach advantage. And with Baldwin being a little shorter, she should work. Shouldn't be backing up too much. Being the shorter fighter, no. a lot of times you want to be heading forward. She's put a lot of work into that into finding a range, but in reality, I don't think she should be. Might just move more side to side more than kind of back. Yeah, unless she's throwing the kicks as she was in the first round, but now she just seems to be kind of backing up and then. Nice waiting. left. She timed her pretty decent there. Katie's got to be careful rushing in without throwing any punches. Nice low kick from Smith. At the end, in the beginning of so many of these exchanges, Katie Smith's throwing that right hook. And she's seen a lot, of, there it is again, a lot of success with it. Now whenever uh, Becca gets her close, it's where she wants her actually, obviously. She doesn't really do enough. She'll throw one punch and back away and start looking for the range again. I don't get that. Right, she should clinch up. And she's lunging in with left hands, but that could, Cam, we both know that can get, that can, that can, that can hurt you really, really bad. Exactly, fall right into the sword. There we go, there, went, the, there went someone's mouth guard. Was that Becca's? Oh, it was, no, it was a hair tie went flying oh, was our it? way. <laughs> kind of a back fist there from Baldwin. Katie, especially with her reach advantage, should be working more on some straight punches. Nice left hand. Katie has a little bit heavier hands. Drops her with the left hand. I may have to take a second look, but it looked kind of like a slip on that last one. I think she maybe slipped up a little bit. But Was uh, that a slip? I th maybe more of a slip. I'd have to see it again. But um, I know yeah, I Katie... Katie being a little taller, she's she maybe working on throwing those straight punches. She She's doing a good job walking Baldwin down, but um, she's throwing Here a lot of the Here comes the hooks. replay from MMA Futures. They do an excellent job every time. They also do driller shows. Many other shows around the Midwest. Oh, nice. Yeah, tough to say, but it's going to probably count as a knockdown right. in the, in the judges' scorecards. I think, I think Becca might have taken that round with that shot. She landed quite a few straight left hands at the end. I get the feeling, Cam. Becca needs to relax. She has the power. She's the more powerful fighter in this fight. And use that to her advantage. Yeah, when she connects, she's having more success. Because her punch sort of seemed to be a bit heavier. Now, neither girl, uh, well, sorry. Becca's never seen a round three, so this is her first time. Becca's actually never seen a round two. Quick stare down for the third round here. Big deep breath from Baldwin. She seems to have her cardio on point here. Nobody's breathing too heavy. But Becca's also just kind of standing stagnant trying to go for that big left hand that she landed with a few times. She is. Goes that infamous headlock. Katie Smith's got to be really careful as she's doing the last few rounds. Three rounds coming in she's, for her head yeah, up. She's, she comes rushing in without throwing anything. She catches that left right there. And Rebecca is just kind of trying to time her with that left. So again, I think Smith needs to work on some straight punches. So again, she's throwing that looping right. Oh, wild right landed by uh, Becca Baldwin. Almost halfway through this third round. Becca's power seems to be kind of the story of this fight, Cam. It's good to see both fighters still continue to throw kicks, though, here and there. 
and not just turn into a boxing match. Oh. Again, Becca Baldwin just really timing that left. There it goes again. She's getting very confident in it. And again, yep. Katie's right, right, right hook is a little sloppy. And that's where I think she just throw it right down the pipe. She's yeah. taller. It's right there. Becca's defense has not been good. It'd be a pretty easy takedown from Becca. Becca's already got her back. Swinging wide for the fences. Both, both girls are here. Exciting fight. Both girls are just kind of winding up for that big power punch, but where the difference is Becca Baldwin's throwing it down the middle and uh, Katie's kind of looping it. Very true. And, and accordingly so, Becca's have done more damage. Yep. At least seemingly. Both, both faces are still looking pretty. No damage really to the faces, but. Becca's loading up a little too much sometimes though. And Katie's enjoying herself. Quick smile, a second go there. And that more than likely probably won um, ball in that last round too. And therefore the fight, but still could go either way. I think Becca stole round two and three with some late power shots, uh, late left hands. It's interesting where the scorecard goes on this one. Smith did a really good job walking her down though and controlling the cage for a good portion of time. Yeah, good good fight experience for both for both ladies in this fight though. What are you expecting here, Cam, on the scorecard? Um, maybe I'd say for first round, I think I'd give the first round to Katie and then the other two, like you said, to, to Baldwin for coming back. Um, yeah, so I'd go I'd go back to Baldwin okay. for this one. I think so too. I think she stole rounds two and three. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we had to go to a judge's scorecard for a decision. All three judges saw this bout 29, 28. Your winner by unanimous decision, the Hurricane!